Hello kids, for inquiry this week, uh, I'm gonna challenge you a little bit more. So it might take you a little bit longer to do your inquiry assignment than um, we've been taking, but we've studied a lot of different ways to look at our concept for our inquiry, inquiry unit of boundaries. We've talked about boundaries between people, like what you do and don't do with, with each, each other and when you cross the line in your behavior with another person. We've talked about boundaries as being borders on a map. We've talked about boundaries as being physical landforms like mountains or rivers. Um, there are lots and lots and lots of ways to think about the concept of boundaries. But uh, we're going to go back to in our unit. We focus on um, we focus on boundaries in an organized way. And one of the ways that we kind of organize our thinking is through a central idea. So in our unit for the theme of who we are, we are um, looking at boundaries, right? And and boundaries, our central idea is this. Boundaries help determine identity. Hmm. We've talked about identity a little bit. We've talked about the different concepts related to identity, like your nationality, um, race and culture. We've talked about um, uh, heritage. We've talked about different kinds of things that might determine identity and how boundaries help determine identity. It might be for a physical thing, it might be for a person, um, but there are a lot of different ways to think about it. We've talked about how interpersonal relationships affect the wellness of yourself and of our community. We've talked about physical boundaries and political boundaries in our map making and, and map skills um, studies. So um, we, we flipped through these pictures, looking at how these things might represent boundaries. Look, we've got maps, oh my goodness, lots of different ways that we can think about boundaries. Boundaries have been uh, especially unique and important during this time of, of COVID as well, keeping the physical space between us uh, to help us stay healthy and well. Looked at different kinds of uh, boundaries in different school settings, in cultural aspects of food. Um, you know, nowadays sharing food like this at a table would probably be something that only happens in a family or in uh, your bubble. But we, uh, you know, we used to go out and have um, communal dinners with people um, that were outside of our bubble, and it was no big deal. So those boundaries have changed with COVID. This is what our school lunches might look like, and the boundaries. There are lots of different ways to think about boundaries. Okay, so the idea is this: um, you're going to go into, you're going to go into, sorry, um, the inquiry folder. You're going to think, what does our central idea mean to me? Boundaries help determine identity. You're going to click into this discussion thread. Okay, it says, here is our central idea for, the, for our inquiry unit. Boundaries help determine identity. My question to you is this, what do you think that central idea means? Here's what you do, three things answer in the chat so you're going to type your answer here where it says write a comment and you're going to post it after you answer you're going to write or draw a picture so this is number two you're going to write or draw a picture to support what you said what you're thinking and then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to record a video of your work and you're going to add it to your post so for example um if i said um you know people people on um the people who live in indiana um think of themselves as hoosiers that would be one way i could answer this question so 
people who are living here inside of Indiana might think of their identity as I'm a Hoosier. That, that might mean a lot of different things. But once I post this, I can go in here and click this little audio video recording button right here. It's the microphone. And you get this option, audio only. So you could click this audio only and record yourself reading something that you wrote. Or you can go to this audio video option like this. Um, and it says uh, it want, uh, wants to use my camera. I want to allow it to use my camera. And I can see myself right here. And you can um, actually hold up an image of something you drew and explain it, or even just be silent. Just, just show a picture of, of what you drew or wrote related to your thinking about that. And when you're finished, click um, start. Well, I have to start the recording. And then after I stop the recording, it'll give me the option to insert the recording. So right here, the recording will actually live in this space with your post, okay? So that's a lot of things that I'm asking you to do this week. I'm asking you to answer the question in the chat. What, um, what do you think this central idea means? And then also write or draw a picture to support what you think and then record a video of that um, in, in, and add it to the post that you created for this, for, uh, this assignment kind of a lot to do, but you can do it if you follow these instructions. Don't forget you can um, add a, you need to add a video of the writing or drawing that you've done to support your thinking uh, in this, in this assignment. All right, good luck and do your best. Have fun with this.